Hey, hello there, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. I'm grateful you're here to watch your tarot card prediction. This weekly reading covers September 9th to the 14th. Sometimes these general readings will not always resonate, but you will know when it resonates with you, and if it does not, it's meant for another. More personal readings can be booked. Check out those links below for more information. And remember to check out your past video predictions. They will resonate more clearly then when that time has arrived. This channel is an evolving channel. I hope you stay tuned in. Okay, Taurus, off camera I have blessed, meditated, and shuffled over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the week. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. Number 15 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Devil. Number 15. The Devil. Stands for restriction and bondage. This is fear and temptation to material things that keep you chained. This is also the card for Capricorn. This is struggling with or denying addiction to physical objects and possessions. Or even unfulfilled desires. It's something that you do too much of. You need to vary it up a little. Put something else in your life besides this one thing you do too much of. It's indulgence. But these are chains you've put on yourself. They're primal feelings and desires. You like it. This could be obsession and sex. Maybe sometimes illness and depression. Your second card it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. Another major card. This is the three of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Empress. This is a card of passion, the same as the devil. You're passionate about something. This is the Empress, which also stands for fertility. Number three. This is fruitfulness and material abundance. Venus rules this card. This also is a marriage, or it's fertility for would-be parents. It's love through compassion and nurturing. It's your home and a need to focus on your health and on family. It's the birth of a new idea or an energy. It's both financial and emotional support. The Empress, she works for harmony, could be a mother or a female authority. But there's natural growth indicated, and your health is going to improve. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Eight of Cups, Taurus. Moving on, because you know there's something better just around the corner. The Eight of Cups. See the river? River there? It stands, it stands for going with the flow. And it's a better future. It's moving on. This is travel. Could be finding a new direction. Because you know what you want and you won't settle for anything less. So stay the path and keep going with the flow. You do have the drive to do it better. You might be wishing for some time alone. And you're ready to look for better things. Your fourth card. It's the future, the outcome. It's the results and the advice. The Two of Wands. The Two of Wands, Taurus. This is you've started something and you're awaiting those results. You're contemplating your future action it has to do with business success and your future possibilities. You're feeling restless and you're longing to explore there's creative tension and aspiration and a new outlook. You are deciding your next move. You're planning. This could be a desire for travel and planning for travel. Change is in the air and pursue your desire. And then you need to wait for your decision to mature. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's what's underlying the issue. It's what's unseen. 
the king of swords this is air energy this could be a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarius the king of swords air energy this can sometimes be a stern figure just because they're involved with their mental work so much they might be abrupt and blunt but they have good intentions and they're a good counselor this person speaks with eloquence they give you sound advice because they know they're fair and they always speak the truth so listen for the correct approach this person has a connection it could be the strong, silent type, but they'll talk your ear off once you get to know them. This person believes in keeping their word. They're a charming leader. Thank you so much, Taurus. Thank you for all those wonderful comments and validations. Please keep them coming and subscribe. You guys keep me inspired and thrilled to keep making these videos for you. Bless you. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light.